What's going on dice makers and perspective dice makers? Today we're going to take a look at poly dice generator and how to set custom logos for any die face. This is going to work for any die, any die face, any logo that you have converted to an SVG. Today we're going to be taking a look at this D20 because it is a custom order for a client. They wanted two different faces, so we're going to go ahead and do that for them. Now you do need to make sure that you have your logo as an SVG and I'm going to show you how to convert a logo to an SVG then we're going to show you how to actually put it on the die itself. So I've already got everything set up on this beautiful D20 here. Now what we need to do is make the 20 a logo and make the 1 a logo. This is super super simple so this is going to be kind of a short video. First thing we're going to do is get our SVG. Now I use picksvg.com if you notice the one on the left is the original, the one on the right is the SVG to download. You upload any picture that you like as long as it's within the proper size parameters and this gives you some different options. So it can have different inverts or different ready. There's also great or strong on details. This one in particular is too large for that, but great detail is fine. Now you notice the one on the right is a line drawing. Anything that shows up in color on the right is going to be the negative on your die. So with this particular line drawing it might be difficult. So we're going to go to ready number one and that's going to color the entire thing in which will make the entire logo a negative. Anything on the left that has color will have color on the right. Anything white on the left will be removed on the right. So this is pretty much exactly what we want. We can change the color option here if you want but we're just going to stick with a standard. Once you get your SVG ready, you're going to go ahead and download it. And then we're going to show you how to actually get it on your die. The next step is glifter.com. This allows you to make custom fonts, logo fonts, things of that sort. It's really great for if you hand draw a custom font. You can actually convert it all to SVGs, come in here, and do the entire font. There's also a huge FAQ down here at the bottom. I've gone through most of them. But we're not worried about that for today. So we're going to scroll back up. There's also a whole bunch of preset icons over here if those are something you want to use. But being dice makers, we like our custom logos. So we're just going to click A here. And then we're going to go ahead and upload the first one. Now that is going to come in upside down. Nothing to worry about. It's perfectly fine. You can actually go in and edit it and change up different things. We're going to go ahead and load in B here and now we have the two that we want. So if you hit the little edit icon, it brings up the side menu, you can go through and you can change things, negative or positive space, you can mirror it, you can rotate different pieces of it, different parts of it. Anything that's not physically connected will be counted as its own piece. So you can rotate the whole thing, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. As long as your SVG is correct, you shouldn't need to mess around too much in these menus, if at all. I don't want to delete it, so hit OK. Now minimize that, and you can do the same thing on each and every one of these. Depending on exactly what style you're going for, you can do all of that in there, but we don't really need to mess with it yet. So we're going to go ahead and save this font as Navy because this is for a Navy member. And now you can sign up. We're not going to sign up, we're just going to download. Once you download, go to your download folder and go ahead and extract all. Just right click, extract all and that brings us up to here. Now we want the fonts and it gives you all of these but what we want is the true type font file or the TTF. Not worried about EOT or WAF. So just right click and install for all users. Once you have that done there's a couple other places we need to put this. So go ahead and just hit copy. We're then going to put it in our poly dice generator root folder. I went over this in a previous video this is where your poly dice generator is housed. You want to have it in this root folder. So we're just going to right click and hit paste. This next place you want it is in your actual open SCAD fonts. In order to get here, what you're going to do is just navigate to your local disk or your C drive typically. You're going to go to program files. You're going to go to open SCAD. You're going to go to fonts. And you're just going to right click and paste here. That's going to get the font in the three different places it needs to be in order to be registered. 
once we have all that done, we're going to hop back into Poly Dice Generator. You're going to scroll up to the top under fonts for symbol font. You're just going to type in whatever you named it. We named it Navy and you're going to tab out. Now for the D20, as well as all other dice, we're going to go down to the D20 section here. You have a text box and you have a symbols box. The undefined in the symbols will match up to the particular number. So find the number that you want in the D20 text. For us, we're going to go with one and then we're just going to delete it and leave a space. Unfortunately here I kind of bounced around a little bit. Don't do this, it's not necessary. So we're going to go to one. Make sure when you delete you add a space. So we're going to delete the number, we're going to hit spacebar, and then we're going to go down to our actual symbols. We have our font as navy. This symbol for one is going to be B. You can see here that it deleted the one. And we're going to go all the way over to our leftmost space, which corresponds to the one. We're going to delete undefined, and we're going to type B. Now you notice here we have an issue. This is not the logo. This is the letter B. This is because Poly Dice Generator does not automatically reload your font library. And even going through the different menus, I have yet to find a way to do this. The only way that I know of is to close Poly Dice Generator, reopen it, and that will reload your font library. So as you can see here through the menu, there's nothing for reload font library. If you noticed it and I missed it, comment down below, let me know, and I can update the video at that point. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close Poly Dice Generator. It's the easiest, fastest way. We're going to go ahead and open it back up. And now we have our D20. We're going to delete the one leave a space. We're going to go all the way back over to the left on the symbols and we're going to insert our B. Again we have our symbol font correct, we have our number font correct. This is just getting the actual logos on the die faces itself. So we're going to delete undefined, we're going to hit B, we're going to tab out and now you see our logo. Nice and pretty. It's not quite where I want it to be so I'm just going to give it kind of a shove on the horizontal axis a little bit and the first direction I went was wrong so we did it the other way and then I went a little too far so we're gonna just knock it back down and get it looking good that's where I want it I'm happy with that so now for the 20 we know that the 20 is gonna be the third from the right so we're gonna delete the 20 we're gonna leave a space once we exit out of the field we notice that the 20 face is blank we're going to go to the third spot from the right. We're going to change it to an A. And then we're going to get that beautiful anchor right there on top. Now as you'll notice here, everything from the SVG that we downloaded earlier that was filled in is now a negative space on the die. Super important. If you want a line drawing, that's fine. Just be careful that with some silicones it may not work. But we have all of our negative spaces here on the bottom and we have all of our negative space on the anchor itself. This is exactly what we want. Now I am gonna go through and do the actual fusion supports. I'll leave a video to my video on the fusion supports in the description below. But this is exactly what we wanted. It's super quick, super easy. And now we have our custom D20. Please give the video a like, subscribe, going to be doing more dice video tutorials in the future. Make sure you check out my other videos for how to go through and actually design your dice in Poly Dice Generator and make sure that you get a good look at how to do the Fusion 360 supports because it really will save you a whole lot of time. Again this works on any die face, any die, just make sure that your numbers match your symbols, that you're deleting what you want to delete and that you're adding what you want to add. We're going to go ahead and render this out Thank you all so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Have a wonderful day.